welcome to my channel so today I'll do unboxing of the beautiful electric bicycle Rave I'll show you how to assemble it with some life hacks so it will be easy and simple again you can take it to the any bike shop and they can probably assemble for you but I'll try to save you money and for that please like this video subscribe to my channel check link in description for hundred dollars off on this bicycle or any bicycle from the Rave so let's open up all right everything looks good inside so far everything like packed very well i'm gonna remove some parts even the tire got protected as well so that's great um this is a toolbox there should be some charger and some other stuff and the headlight actually attached already over here so let's see what is inside of this box okay so it has a manual some tools also it comes with uh, some washer looks like inside and bolts and lucky knot so also it comes with uh, some pedals and it does come with a charger let's check out what the size so it's two amp charger first i'm gonna install the handlebar but before doing that you have to remove these four bolts from this uh, steam so you would remove all of them okay and then I'll take the handlebar bring it up and reattach this bracket on top of it with the same bolts you just removed I use uh, only hands first to tighten all these bolts and once I'm ready I'll use a tool and you would have to align right in the middle and then tighten all these four bolts I recommend not to tighten them very well because you will still need to readjust based on your height and favorable position when you're sitting on the bicycle because the handlebar can move both ways closer or further from you now it's good time to remove this um, cover from the wheel and here's a life hack I recommend remove the nuts completely from both sides actually the one side have not inside there with a manual so it doesn't have to so you remove one side completely with uh, everything because it will help you to insert the wheel and the brakes easily now it's time to insert the wheel but before doing that you lift it up the bike and remove this uh, fork protector okay the metal piece you don't need it you take the wheel and insert it make sure the brake will go in between the brake pads and the wheel is sitting very well as you can see super easy and now you would insert the lock washer first and then the washer uh, honestly you don't really need this washer i think but i'll just insert it as well and then to use this nut to tighten up and you do the same thing on both sides so basically this uh, locking nut will protect from wheel coming off in case if the nut got loose a little bit and the last you need to attach the pedals so for people who doesn't know where is right and left they mark right on the pedal or right over here so you just match R to R and attaching as easy one two three few things you need to do before you start to ride the bicycle uh, make sure all the bolts are attached and check before you're riding that second you need to check the pressure in the tires you can uh, put between 6 to 30 psi i usually put about 10 15 off-road and 20 25 on the road so you can check and see based on your weight which is more preferable will be for you second i recommend to charge the battery and on the battery over here is switch on and off so you can turn it on and see if it's fully charged there will be lit light over here but i still charge it for the first time until this button will change from red to green that means the battery is fully charged over here the charging port and over here you will find usb port you can charge your phone connect extra light and here's a rave bullet bike uh, it's a entry level from rave company 
Uh, the other one is GT model. This one is just bullet model. And I just want to show you how comfortable to sit on this bicycle. Actually, I find really fun to ride them. And regardless, you choose the bullet or bullet GT, and the next model will be a little bit larger. GTX, they are coming, but I just want to show you the difference as well today. Uh, it's really fun to ride this bicycle because they are not as large and they're just right size if you're planning to throttle mostly but if you're trying to pedal it none of the e-moped bikes would be great for pedaling usually regardless of the size so if you're looking like uh, randomly pedal you can do any of this bicycle even this one and i'm 511 and we'll go right now for the speed test also i'll go to the some uh, steep hill to see if the bullet can actually make it i know gt made it very easily and i want to see if the bullet can make it uphill and let's go for a ride but before doing that i want to go over the spec so let's do walk around and also quick compare to bullet gt all right, so I'll show you first the Rave Bullet, and then we'll get closer to the Bullet GT. So as headlights, they are the same. As you see, the tires, 20 by 4, are the same as a Bullet GT. Uh, the major difference, I'll just give you the fork. Uh, the GT comes with a crown fork, hydraulic, and the Bullet comes with just regular uh, spring fork with no any adjustment, no locking, no preload, but it's still a decent fork. Um, it comes with a smaller battery versus to GT. GT have uh, no option to have dual battery. And this battery, it's a 48 watt by 13 amp versus to GT, uh, it's a 20 amp. So it's a larger battery and a better cells in it. Also, GT comes with a, a rear suspension right over here, 1,000 pounds, which is kind of stiff. With a bullet, just no suspension, but it's still looking really cool. Uh, still the same style. You get the same seat, which is really comfortable to sit on, and everything else about the same. The speed are different as well. Uh, bullet supposed to go uh, 25 miles on throttle only once you unlock it. With GT, it's going 28 plus miles an hour on throttle only once you unlock it. Uh, currently, the first batch have a controller only going up to 20 miles per hour, but they will send you free controller to upgrade it to 25 miles an hour. And that's why they have a big sales on it right now. So you may want to check the link in the description for the best price. The controller relocated in this box. So everything uh, well wired and protected. Bullet comes with a full throttle, also seven gear shifter, which uh, has seven cranks over here and 500 watt motor, which actually should perform better than many other 750 motor from my experience and with a gt it's a, a thumb throttle on the right side also a bit different size of display on bullet and gt a little bit larger but about the same quality you can see everything also hydraulic brakes on gt models and uh, mechanical brakes on a bullet model uh, i'm gonna go for test right right now on bullet and we'll see if the braking system works as well and we'll check how the acceleration and the speed actually because uh, i tested and a throttle only and it was pretty quick acceleration so let's go for a ride <music> All right, so I'm going for a speed test, a brake test, and also climb test to some of the steepest hills today. The weather actually beautiful today, better than yesterday, so 
a great time for record the video and um, the good news that the street I used to do the other test are made already nicely as you can see it's fixed and the pavement replaced so it's a great truck all right so let's go for the speed test on throttle only and see how fast it will go i know it's a limited to 20 miles right now and it's about 12 14 16 18 19 20 and then i can feel right away the speed was cut off it's almost got like 21 mile but the speed is like cut off and consume like electricity i guess but if you buy this uh, first batch they come with free controller which you can upgrade and it will go to 25 miles an hour and the controller provided for free if you buy it and it's on sale right now the batch one or you can uh, buy the second batch which already come with upgraded controller i don't think they have sales but you can get hundred dollars off right now and now i'm gonna go with the speed test uh, with a uh, pedal assist as well so throttle only 20 miles an hour as supposed to be so it's all correct and let's go see how fast with pedal assist can go and i'm on speed number three pedal assist level three and gear number seven so far 22 23 24 25 wow actually it's hit 26 on gps but uh, with the display up to 25 shown and then i can feel the power was cut off so if you upgrade the controller most likely you're gonna get even faster and the pedaling about the pedaling i'm 511 and i rode not only this bike i rode many this type of bike some emoped style and i can say uh, even the larger frame still about the same uh, riding experience i'm gonna turn off actually i'm gonna test first the brakes i'm gonna go like about i guess 20 miles an hour and brake so it's accelerated really quickly and then i'll brake so the brakes works good and actually after running a few miles the squeak almost gone so i think the brakes are good mechanical brakes but they're still good brakes so for this speed i think they do the good job i can do another test braking see how it's gonna be but we're gonna break them actually when i'm going to go down the hill later on in this video but pedaling i'm gonna turn off completely power assist uh, pedal assist and see how it will go so let me turn off this looks like zero okay video recording and well first i need to start zero and i'll change to gear number probably three for more comfortable number two actually and the bike weight like about 74 pounds even less a little bit and it's actually pedaling not bad at all you can pedal it about eight miles an hour on gear number two then you can switch to gear number seven to get faster speed so if you stuck somewhere without power on this bike you can still pedal it no problem at all okay now i'm gonna put the pedal assist back and just throttle because actually if you're looking for bicycle to pedal most of the time then you just need to get different type of bicycle with adjustable seat and different setup uh, maybe even light as a bicycle like but this one is a flat tire cave 
race style which very comfortable to ride and not only that it's a lot of fun even this small bike like with a the entry level i would say a lot of fun and it looks real great much better than electric xp bikes if you consider because the price about the same uh, if you look in the xp 3.0 long range the price about the same actually right, right now on sales even cheaper i like the rave bikes for a few reasons uh, this one is actually the lightest one 74 pounds which is great but the acceleration on bullet even it's slower than GT but it's same acceleration very quickly when you need it if you put on level 3 the only thing that I don't really like when your throttle depend on your pedal assist level so basically you have to set on the level 3 on pedal assist to throttle all the way up to the high speed that's something I don't like hopefully they will change that they will be independently uh, from pedal assist or regardless on pedal assist level the throttle will go all the way up because um, this way if you even pedal assist level one you can throttle when you need it up to the top speed and it's accelerate really quick on the street uh, anywhere and the reason i'm taking two uphills i have a good feeling that it may make it at least half hill this motor is only 500 volt which is not as powerful but i have a feeling good feeling that it should make it because <coughs> it's it is kind of torquey bike give you good torque all right let's jump actually this one doesn't have any rear suspension but it still feels really so, uh, soft smooth ride so even if you get a gt or this bike you get a really smooth ride even the fork performing actually not bad i didn't expect it to be good but it's not bad at all it does not have a a fender so if you need a fender you can buy i think it's like 50 bucks but i noticed that uh, yeah it's a really nice solid bike and i like it um, i don't feel anything like they don't have any rear suspension so but uh, because when i just bump over some bumps over here when i ride over some bumps over here still good So, not to have the rear suspension actually will not affect you much unless you're going off-road. Running on the sidewalk right now with a lot of different bumps. And actually I did some uh, jump a little bit in the air over here. Still very nice and solid. And it's uh, much quieter because the suspension on GT, it's uh, kind of stiff, I would say, uh, compared uh, so it's kind of uh, no suspension rear suspension does not really make any much difference on uh, going on a regular road and the fork works okay no problem actually it's uh, uh, pretty good for just a regular road like this for off-road I would recommend to get GT probably so it's a nice solid ride really nice acceleration over here gonna be some jump wow uh, and uh, this one actually jump and i didn't feel much difference versus to gt on the same jump i did only the noise coming from the chain so that's about it but both of them about the same and uh, the brakes i can hear the brakes clicking only the rear one and it, the front is good so it makes sense that there is some dirt on the rear one as you can hear it's a rear one and over here the bumps and the fork worked good it's i saw the fork actually did the job on the bumps so it's it does work so 
again the brakes easy to fix if you don't want the squeaking noise because there's no bell i like the squeak sometimes because if somebody in front of me i can just click like with a brake and they'll walk away the front one has no squeaking anymore as you can hear it's very quiet so easy to fix i'll put link in description with a spray you just spray the brakes these brakes the pads it will be clean and no squeaking problems at all and we're almost there it was about two months right and uh, the hill right in front of me which is uh, really steep i'll try to do uh, like to find out what the uh, great percentage if i can with uh, some up i'll try later on but i did test many bikes on this hill and it's really steep really steep trust me uh, i burned some controller on this hill all right so let's try the throttle only to see if it can make it up to this hill and um, it is steep hill hopefully we make halfway because it's only 500 watt motor so it's slowing down to 14 right now 12 miles an hour 11 10 and um, once it drops below 5 I'll stop most likely see if I can now it's 7 the GT was making about 8.5 all the way up to the hill so on this point one of the 500 motor burn and I'm still going uphill six miles an hour but i'm still going uphill which is a good good result so far my 360 camera turn off looks like but i'm still going up six miles an hour which still pulling me uphill which actually very good result so far i'm passing the point where some thousand watt motor stopped but i'm still going up six miles an hour slowly but still pulling up and i made it wow it's made it surprisingly i have a good feeling it will make it honestly because when i rode the, for the first time this bike the bullet i was surprised it's so torquey and so quick acceleration and now i'm gonna go back and check the brakes to see how they're good and going down hills probably hit the record speed 26 28 20 and i'm gonna start to break here so it's about i would say over 10 to 50 meters braking uh, it's not as great as hydraulic but i was going about 30 miles an hour which of course hydraulic brakes would be much better for this type of speed but this bike designed for up to 25 miles plus so 25 would be perfect with mechanical brakes i am pretty happy to see this uh, results this uh, rave bullet perform pretty well and i'm looking forward for the new controller they're gonna send me to upgrade to 25 miles an hour and i think that will be even more fun i'll make separate video how to uh, replace the controller and the good part they will send it for free if you buy it right now so you'll have two controller one is 20 miles you can use somewhere else on other bicycle if you want to or just keep it for backup and um, even 20 miles an hour it's pretty quick acceleration and i would trade quick acceleration versus to speed and i think 25 should be a really quick acceleration and nice 25 miles an hour speed for this type of bicycle uh, it's very decent price if you're looking to buy one highly recommend to check the link in the description for discounts because it's much more looking better looking than uh, xp bicycles foldable or even super 73 
I think this even this bicycle as level uh, entry level looks much better than Super 73 and the price much better as well I'm not sure about the acceleration but this one is a really quick acceleration the speed on throttle 20 miles an hour it's uh, more than enough for uh, many cities because many cities have some restriction now and I know in Northern California have a lot of restriction so if you take into the beach sometimes they have restriction up to 10 miles only so cruising at 10 feet an hour with pedal assist it makes sense and also it's um, not that bad pedaling as well and that's about it for today thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit subscribe so you can see the next video see you later